last session we have discussed 22 a feature 22 b feature today we'll be progressing with the 22 c features and uh, okay uh, so very first feature is auto generated checklist code in checklist templates so to you uniquely identify checklist templates now what oracle has given is when you enter the name automatically one code will appear right uh, so for example in document of records also we have one code right uh, document type id the back end so it is not useful for the end user because they uh, when a task is assigned or a journey is assigned they will not see this but we as an implementation team or a consultant can uh, use this to identify which uh, checklist template we are referring to uh, i'll just give you a demo if i go to checklist templates okay so if i try to create one checklist template uh, let's say test 22c and category if i take enterprise onboarding so archive let me say 200 months 500 300 months per job yeah and uh, okay so test one okay we see here a checklist code is uh, generated if i change this does it change let's see just to see wait oh it does it doesn't change if you change the name uh so the <coughs> but the checklist which we created with the original name uh it will have a checklist code and this is like i said is useful useful only for us not for the end user because they won't see it when we assign a uh, task corresponding to this checklist right so it is for us implementation team or consultant like us uh, to uniquely identify the checklist yeah so this is it this is about the first feature that uh, they have given this checklist code also it was not uh, present earlier yeah coming to next feature and there is no steps needed to enable this feature no profile option or all nothing so if you have already configured checklist then it will automatically come this feature second feature is they have given deep link to mass download documents of record yeah so you might be aware that uh, in oracle we have uh, uh, deep link pages is uh, for different uh, functionality for example for goals uh, i know there was a deep link you see this deep links it has all the deep links the advantage of deep link is that when you copy this link and open in a new browser or open a new window uh, it will automatically go to same page you don't have to go to all the navigation for example if i am applying absence i know i need to go to me absence and then create absence three pages or from admin if i am searching any absence i need to go to my client group then absence then or for person management then absence all right but uh, these pages you can directly go for example now they have given for documents of record i'll su just search with mass yeah this is the deep link which they have given yeah i like copy this link just for reference if i click this so automatically i'm getting uh, coming to mass do uh, download uh, documents of record and uh, i had also copied the link if i paste it here so automatically it is coming for other pages you need to you know follow all the navigation but for this page which is coming from deep link directly you come to this page so it saves time right and uh, just to give you background what this does is for example if you want to download multiple documents of record for one person or a particular document type you want to download for all the person so we have two options here by person we can do uh, for example items right for this person if i don't give document type all the documents of record will be uh, downloaded second way is that uh, i can download for example i need uh, visa does it as visa passport let's say if yeah if i want to download passport of all the employees yeah just in case uh, it is an audit requirement or something i can do that and i can group by a person yeah so uh yeah and to enable this feature you should have uh, hr specialist role uh, i think i have mentioned it here just see yeah you need these two roles privilege is this 
okay if you are using standard role then uh, you need to add this role if you are using any custom role then you need to add this privilege uh, to that uh, custom role right so this this is it about this uh, deep link so you can access new deep link this is a new deep link which we uh, to easily and quickly access the page to mass download user will have seamless experience without the need to use additional clicks right and uh, yeah, these are the roles needed privilege needed yeah and uh, yeah so we went with tools also you can copy this and create a new icon under any group for example page entry right and uh, we navigated from uh, navigator you can also go from uh, it is not there i think it is inside my client groups also if i see yeah it is inside mass uh, client my client groups also so either from navigator or from springboard inside my client groups you can click on this and you will reach same place right uh, let's go to next feature uh, so first feature was uh, deep link and uh, an uh, additional feature on this is they have enhanced some functionality now on this <coughs> so we will see display only those document types of selected person for which the so it says basically uh, when i am trying to click add the document which is visible uh, so i am logged logged in from robot right so the document which robot has access will only be visible and this is a secure feature and this is good also because otherwise robot can download other document for which he is not entitled right we know that behind documents of record we can set up security right manage or view documents of record or manage documents of record and also which all uh, documents of record one person should be able to view so document type security profile is there and so the logged in person um, should have access to these documents then only he will be able to uh, download for example a passport if robot does not have passport uh, access then he'll not be able to download passport so this is one of the bullet point of these features so we'll just read this display only those document types of selected person for which the logged in user has access right alternatively if no person is selected display all document types for which the logged in user has access right also so for example, if I'm logging uh, as an HR and uh, for example, I'm uh, UK HR and uh, the person I cannot download. Uh, 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 I cannot select person who belongs to India BU, okay, or US BU. It is configured in such a way that uh, HR of UK should be able to see people of uh, UK only and HR of US should be able to see people of US only. Then if I have logged in as a uh, HR of UK I'll not be able to select US person right and uh, secondly documents also so document type if I do not have access uh, of the logged in person who document if the logged in person does not have document type access particular document access will not be able to select that document type so in both the uh, filters person and document type a security is working with this new features yeah display a progress bar uh, for page okay so we'll do we'll do one uh, for example adoption and uh, i'll just search for a date january 22 i'm just giving a range uh, so that it completes in time and till day okay group by person if i submit this then uh, you see this progress bar it says uh, this is of yesterday it went in error yeah for today it says there is the progress bar now and we can see how much progress has been made right and auto refresh of the page every 30 seconds display the progress so i don't need to click the refresh button to see whether uh, how much progress has been made automatically after every 30 seconds this will get the refresh let's see so it is yeah you see automatically got uh, uh, refresh i have not clicked this so now it is 100 percent yeah status wait let's see if the status also changes after some time ah, okay there are no attachment uh, for of this document type so nothing is coming right if there would have been any document then we would have seen the uh, attachment also automatically this will uh, download to your local system uh, one HDL format file and one uh, the zip file which contains the document. 
yeah coming to next feature so if there are attachment then succeeded will come